Hello again. Um, on the previous video, we just left the character on um, the ticking part. So I want to again show you what actually happened over there. You might be confused with why did we get um, this is just something that I did while um, I was not recording. Over here, it was ticking both for greed and uh, the base character but the reason for that is actually when we press play we also have the base character on the field too so that means right now there are two characters so two ticking things are uh, actually happening so um, I disabled ticking for um, the great character temporarily in order to try something so the ticking thing when we um, commented super tick part it did not tick for the main character it only ticked for greed so following this we now know how the inheritance works if we do not um, call the super one super version of the method then it will only apply for the new definition so I will remove this one actually let's just remove this and for this as well and now let's just add something fancy so as we said for greed we wanted it to sprint or run fast so to do that let's just add um, any function and let's just make this one blueprint callable so I say u function um, in parentheses I say um, visible anywhere I don't know if it has such a tag though uh, u print callable this way um, this function can be called in um, the editor or in blueprint it will be um, a void and we will name it sprint it will take nothing in it and that's it the spacing thing just bugs me okay so now let's go for the implementation void um, a free character sprint it takes no parameters open our parenthesis and now um, while the character is sprinting we want it to run fast so let's go for um, get character movement um, with this method you can get the um, movement properties of the character and um, get max volk spe speed doesn't it this way um, let me just copy something over here um, max volt speed sorry um, max volt speed equals to 1200 so now when this method is called um, the speed will go for 1200 and normally it is something like 400 something small like that and um, let's just go over here um, compile um, yes there is no visible anywhere I was correct on that assumption. I will remove it and we'll just say blueprint callable and compile again. Uh, blueprint taxable functions must have a category specified. Okay, for that too, say category equals movement um, 
I think it is a string, so I might need to specify that too. No. Okay. Um, save it. Go back. I know that this takes some time, but, you know, I'm learning to, like, my practice is not that much on Unreal Engine. I just figured out a lot of stuff, but um, I did not apply them that often. Okay, successful. Now, um, I right click on my create character, press edit, and go for blueprint editor. So, on here, what I do is, I will just enable it with a button, let's just make it F. Come on. Okay, when F is pressed, I want sprint to be called. I compile it. Um, sprint is private and cannot be called outside its class, but since we are calling it, actually, um, it might be problematic. We will just see. We will just see. I press play. I'm walking like this. When I press F, yeah, it starts to go crazy. So, um, we can ignore that warning because um, we are actually using the class itself, but it is actually something really wrong in a uh, programming way. It should not be, um, it definitely should not be on the public part, uh, the private part. But uh, let's just keep it this way as it works. So now, there is one problem, and that is um, the character moves slowly now. When I press F, it moves fast, but we want it to be something uh, that deactivates when I do not press any button. So now, my movement speed is set to 1200 and it does not decrease. So, in order to fix that, um, we should just check um, the movement speed component of... Um, three Okay, we can just manage it another way. So, I am gonna make um, a U property and give it visible anywhere and make it blueprint read write. Actually, it is not necessary, but I'm just making it that way just because I want it to be. And call it, um, make it load, and it will be previous movement speed. So, what I'm going to use it for is, when the character starts sprinting, just before it sprints, it will store its uh, previous movement speed, and then um, when it needs to stop running, it will just take the movement speed back. And in order to do that, I need to implement another view function, and it will be stop sprint. Uh, okay. So I go back and define a free character stop sprint, and over here. Just before I do it, I'm going to jump for sprint and do it like this. Um, previous movement speed equals get character movement um, max walk speed. Now we are temporarily keeping it on previous movement speed. And then um, when the character needs to stop to sprint, we will make it get character movement max volt speed equals previous movement speed. Go back, compile it.
compile failed. Why? Um, okay, the same shit again. The same shit again. I will just take this one and make it public. I don't want to deal with other stuff. Go back. Compile. Just to make um, just to make the tutorial fast enough, I am just um, ignoring all these things. I just go for uh, coding, and uh, there is a famous saying in my country: um, "Do the things I say, but do not do the things I do." Meaning, I'm a bad example, but I know what is right and what is wrong. So um, we go back to content browser, um, edit, and now when f is released we want to stop sprint we do it too when we press compile it will give a warning too because we made them the same we save exit play now we are moving slowly when i press f and hold it i'm walking fast and when i release it my speed decreases just so you guys can see it i'm slow and fast. I'm slow and fast. Actually, if I used a character that had a model, I could um, observe it much easier. So, just to do that, um, let's just go for edit, viewport, and let's just put um, a mesh. So skeletal mesh, SK mannequin, use animation blueprint. Um, third person and in BP and we need to take this guy down because I know that it will not hit the ground because of previous um, experience I close this press play and okay this will, <laughs> this needs to be fixed and it looks ridiculous I need to um, change how where the character is faced but just for you guys to see, yeah, it's fast, it's slow. It's fast, it's slow. So, um, there are only two minutes for this video. What we did was, we actually implemented something on this character that only this character can do. Okay, in the meanwhile, I can um, just break this link so that we no longer uh, control greed. Compile it, save it, exit, and play. Now we are controlling the normal character because, as you see, it works normally. When I press F, it doesn't work because this is the base character, not the greed character. So that means um, we successfully achieved the thing we wanted to do. So on the next video, I will make it... Uh, make the sprinting process with some energy bar so that we cannot sprint uh, infinitely and um, it will just unload the bar and over time it will start uh, it will keep on charging so that way um, we can also make an introduction to character properties because we did not go into it yet it was only functions so Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.